Hello, Transtastic. So, this week, we're talking about food, our relationships to food, etc. This lighting is, like, really terrible. Okay, that's better. Yeah, my relationship to food is not great. It's not the greatest. When I was uh, young, well, first of all, I've always been uh, underweight. So, I've always been um, needing help in that department with nutrition and stuff like that. So, when I was younger... I had to take those supplements and stuff like that to make sure that I was on track with my weight, which I never was, but you know, YOLO. So eating growing up for me was pretty hard. I don't really remember what breakfast time was like during the week, but um, for lunch during the week, I would go to school and my mom is a therapist and she had a friend who was a guidance counselor at my school and she would make sure that she like basically asked her friends um, to watch me eat lunch every day, and she did. She came over and she watched me eat lunch every day and made sure that I was eating. So the people who sat at my lunch table when I was in elementary school had like a song, and they would sing it to me to make me eat. So that was pretty embarrassing. As we moved on... I got more access to other types of foods away from my house, um, junk food and stuff like that, which was always in my house, but I don't know, it was pretty regulated. So when I would eat as a kid um, dinner with my family, which promptly stopped in seventh grade, I rarely eat with my family anymore, but um, when I did when I was a kid, uh, my mom, I, I would start to cry and say that I couldn't eat anymore and whatever. And um, my mom would like portion out like a little bit for me to try to eat and was like, you can't get up until you eat all of it. And I would cry more because I felt like I was physically unable to eat the food. So I would cry more and then she um, would like forced me there until I ate all of it. So that was pretty traumatic. Um, and I slowly like would uh, chew food and like put it underneath my tongue and uh, asked to go to the bathroom. And she would let me, but she would check my mouth first, which sometimes I had to put it in a napkin and put it in my pocket. And then after she did, she figured out what I was doing. I was flushing my food down the toilet. And then after she figured it out, she would force me to wait to flush the toilet so she could come in and check that there was no food in there. So, yeah. So eating was a problem for me. I've always, like I said, been really underweight. Um, when I was maybe 15 or 16, there was a point where I was a little, like, fuller in my face and my body, but... That didn't last for very long because I was put on a medication unrelated to eating and it made me have no appetite. So when I was about 17, I think it was, I was probably like 88 pounds. Um, and to give you a good idea, I'm like 5'5". Five five, so yeah, that was... Um, interesting. So yeah, I have since gained that weight back. I'm 112 pounds now, but I would love to weigh more. I really would. I would love to weigh more, but I don't think that's really in the cards for me. Right now my eating habits are pretty bad. I rarely eat like full, well, not full meals. I don't eat multiple times a day. So like I'll eat here and there all day, like cookies or chips or whatever. If if anything, sometimes I don't eat anything all day. And then like when I get home, I'll eat dinner. And that's it. That's like my eating habits. So I know I'm, I'm conscious of the fact that that's bad. And I know that I need to change my eating habits and eat more regularly and everything. But like, I don't know. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, right now, um, I'm just trying to work on like reclaiming my relationship to food, I guess, and um, over the years I found ways of eating that work for me and, you know, just trying to use those and get those into place and everything like that. I wouldn't classify what my relationship 
to food is as an eating disorder. Um, I don't know if anyone else out there disagrees with me. If, if uh, you do think that what I have experienced for my whole life is an eating disorder, then um, let me know in the comments below, seriously. I mean, I don't know. So, okay, that was... Um, that was my thing. That was my video about food. Also, one more thing. Um, I don't know if you have seen the video that's up about getting us to the Philly Trans Health Conference, but we are all trying to meet up at the Philly Trans Health Conference this year. So if you guys can help make that happen, that would be wonderful. I am going regardless, and I went last year, and Val has gone the past couple years, and... It's a really great time, so we're gonna have a table there, and we're gonna be set up, and you can meet us, and you know, take stalker pictures from far away and awkwardly post them on social media and whatever your little heart desires. No, not whatever your heart desires, but you know, you get the picture. So yeah, if you could donate to that, make it possible for all of us to get there, that would be amazing. Not, none of us have met, that's not true, that's not what I'm trying to say. All of us have not been in the same place before, so... It would be really great if you guys could help us make that happen because we do this for you and for us, but, you know, for you. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you all later.